I had the great opportunity of going to the very first Obaya conference in 2006. And when I went, I felt like something new was happening. It was very exciting. It was an historical event. And the last time that had happened was 1984, when I was at the University of Georgia, the Institute of Ecology. We had the very first meeting of, of the International Association of Landscape Ecology. And that was the first time I realized there were other people like me who were interested in very broad scales, but still interested in ecology. There was a discipline that gave me a, a formal um, of a formalization of what I was interested in. Well, the same thing happened at, in 2006 at the University of Salzburg. Um, then the next two years we had the meeting in Calgary and um, at that meeting I think it was, uh, there was more interest in defining terms and determining the concepts and the theory and trying to work out the fundamental basis for this subdiscipline. Um, 2010 in Ghent, um, Belgium, uh, there was a, a, a higher level of maturity and more confidence in the, in the subdiscipline in Geobia. A lot of applications, um, all of them had great international um, participation. But it, it was just another level, I think, of, of use um, of, of Geobia. And then 2012, I'm just amazed that we're at the, le at the point where we're doing change analysis because we have multiple um, databases created from, from the multi-temporal imagery and the multi-temporal databases we're creating with Geovia. We're really looking at our algorithms. We're trying to understand the segmentation. We're trying to develop new methods of segmentation. Um, we're looking at the accuracy of the databases that we create. We are making our, our, these processes available over the web. So, so there's a lot of, of new work that's being presented here um, in, at, at this conference, which is, is incredibly exciting. So in conclusion, I think that all of our collective work on segmentation algorithms, classifiers, quality assessment, change detection, all of these applications of Geovia, um, they're all critical to the creation and maintenance of the geodatabases that are needed to respond and recover from the continuum of local disasters to global climate change. And I think Geovia is now entering its teenage years. Um, approaching maturity, but maybe having some fits of rebellion, maybe questioning authority, challenging some traditions, but in the end I think we will create a new and very unique identity. Thank you very much. <laughs>